Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm just going to do a quick demo of something that I really like and I think is extremely important and also valuable. And that is using the Google Workspace, this service as your business email, but also more importantly, and I think that a lot of people don't know, is that if you purchase the Google Workspace standard account, you get an automatic two terabytes of cloud storage. So I think a lot of you out there are using the free version of various tools and they'll give you two gigabytes or 20 or 30 gigabytes. But if you do video or if you do fly drones or if you have a lot of pictures or whatever, maybe you collect movies or whatever it is, you probably know that 30 gigabytes is not much. Two terabytes is pretty much where it starts, and I've, uh, where it starts being enough or sufficient. And for my case, I've been using Dropbox for over 10 years, and it's been good, and I've always enjoyed it. I've never come across another person using Dropbox, which is odd now that I think about it. And I just found out that with Google Workspace standard, you're getting two terabytes of free cloud storage. That is what I get with Dropbox. Basically, I'm wasting my money because with Google Workspace standard, you get a business, their business email, which is obviously excellent, very easy to use and so many functions, but you also get two terabytes of cloud storage. And I, and, and that is for $12 a month. So Google Workspace standard costs $12 a month, but the Dropbox account costs $10 a month. So for two extra bucks, you're getting uh, business email, and then you get all the other perks, such as the paid version of Google Meet, which allows you to have online webinars, conferences with 100 people, and have a, a variety of premium functions that you don't get the paid version. In any case, basically I'm bundling my business email with my cloud storage and I'm getting a getting of Dropbox, which I've paid for over 10 years. And along that period, I've come into so many, so many times I've contacted other people, try to share and Google Dropbox tries to get other people to join into their ecosystem. So when you're sharing links with it, it's always messy and they can't figure it out. And, oh, I don't have Dropbox. I can't see that. And uh, it's just a pain. So in March, my Dropbox is about to come due. So instead of paying for another year, I'm just going to buy a Google Workspace standard for a new URL that I just bought. And that's called johnjones.site. And I'm just going to use it for large scale cold email outreach, which I've been uh, promoting and learning and advocating and sharing with all the people I know, but I need more domain URL, more URLs to do uh, more cold outreach. So I'm buying these and getting a uh, Google workspace anyway. Normally I would get Google workspace starter, which is just $6 a month. And that is enough to do cold email, but just for just $12 total, you get two, terab two terabytes of, of, of cloud storage. So it's just like the best deal. It is the best deal. So with that said, I'm just going to jump into it and show you. It's going to be quick, I think. So I'm just uh, logged into a regular free Google Mail that I have in my own name. And I'm going to Google Workspace. And then as you can see here just click on the first one and I'm just going to click on get started and this one's going to be called John Jones site and it's just me and we can make it I'm in Taiwan and it's just fine it doesn't matter and so I'm gonna put my full name here and we're gonna make this under my free Google Mail and I set up my I'm gonna set up my existing domain so I have John Jones site and I just bought that at Namecheap for $1.98 for the first year. And then I think the second year was another was $5.98. So it's extremely cheap to do this as well. 
and I'm just going to use it to send cold email. So now we're going to set up this domain and I'm just going to put john at johnjones.site and this uh, password we can either generate one. So just to emphasize one of the things that I really advocate is keeping a password safe and you can use free pass or uh, last pass or whatever it is online whether it's paid or free but you definitely should be having a password safe so that is one of the things that i most adamant and adamant about and advocate for and so i use this one called password safe it's free and what i'm going to do is i actually have a group here where i keep all john jones passwords right here and then i'm just going to click on this group and right click and add entry and so this is going to be john jones site google work space and, and as a, i'll make the, us, the username john at john jones dot site and so i'm going to generate you have a pa password policy and we can actually make it strong up 20 characters and i can generate here and i'm going to change this one later so it doesn't matter i'm going to change this later so for safety but that's a good idea to use a strong password and also to keep it in one place in a password safe. So no matter what you do, where you go, where you're at, uh, or whether you're on your laptop, your PC, or your mobile phone, you can instantly access all your passwords and you'll never lose them. You keep the password database in the cloud. It's encrypted. No one knows where it is. It's completely safe. So here we are. So they're prompting me to get business standard, which is absolutely fine. And look, they're even giving me Look at this, they're giving me 25% off for the first three months, which is awesome. And look, you get the first thing, just as I was saying, two terabytes of cloud storage, and then you get, of course, your custom secure business email, which is what we want for cold outreach. And yeah, right now they're giving us a little bit of free AI. And then as I said, Google Me, you can have 150 participants. Whether you use that or not is irrelevant. It's just, it's something that comes with the paid, the paid level. And so on and so forth. I bet if we went online, we could probably find a promo code. But anyway, this is just awesome. $10.80 per month, we're getting it. So I'm just going to try for free for 14 days. And it's just, it's just awesome. So basically, that is the price of Dropbox. That's the price of Dropbox. So they do want me to put in a VAT ID. I'm going to probably blur this just so that. Okay, so he wants me to add the AI on for some extra, for an extra fee. I don't want that. Maybe nice in the future, but for right now, we've got that completely taken care of. So we're going to set up the domain. It likely has detected that URL is at Namecheap, and it is, and so we're going to just follow these instructions. First thing I need to do is set up a text record there. So I'm going to collect this value right there. I'm going to pop on over to Namecheap, which is right here site, I'm going to go into manage, and then I'm going to into advanced DNS, and I'm going to come right here, and I'm going to, I can just click on add new record, and then I can choose a text record, and the host value is just the at sign, which is your URL, and then I'm going to copy paste the verification snippet in here and click on this little green check mark, and that's done. I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to click on the check mark here, and then confirm that. So sometimes that's fast, sometimes that's slow. We'll see. Just one of those things. I have to be patient. Okay. Excellent. Verified in just under a minute. Okay. Activate it. Continue to start using your G Gmail with your domain. There we are. And we're just going to have the one user proceed with activation. And the second part of that is you need to add the MX record. So that's controlling, that's the DNS record that controls the emails. And so we've got two here, priority one and this one. So priority one is easy enough to remember. I'm just going to grab the value here. I'm going to pop back on over to Namecheap and then scroll down to the next section. I think, yeah, we're good. this is the mail settings here. Yeah, mail settings. And in this case, we're going to do a custom MX record. So then I am just going to put the value in here, put the priority in here, and the host is always going to be the at sign. 
I'm going to save the cha changes. And then I'll come back here. And then I will click on the checkbox and press confirm. And we'll just have to wait for another few seconds. Excellent. Just a few seconds and we're verified. So now we could add users more if we need them. Um, I'm not going to, I just want, I really just want this for two things, the cold email. I need the, I need the, the Google workspace to do cold outreach with this domain and with this email. And then I want the two terabytes of storage. So that's what I'm doing that for today. Explore Google workspace like that. What's your main goal? Yeah. Connect with customers. Yeah. We could just give that a miss if we wanted. These are all changing. So do you already use any of these? Yeah, we do. We, got, we do use pretty much all of them. Lots of nice stuff here. This is getting better and better by the day. Nice. So it's doing this based on, yeah. So we could go right through these to some two-step. I don't need this. And yeah, personalize everything. I'm just going to minimize these and use your workspace. Free up time, create your booking page. Yeah, these are all cool. And if this was your first time, this would be neat. Yeah, I'm going to be uploading files to Drive, but that'll be later. Excellent. Excellent. At this stage, as you can notice, we're here in the workspace.google.com interface. This doesn't. So we see we're in John at johnjones.site, and here's my free Google mail. In order to control this, I'm just going to press control T and open up a new tab here. And the master admin control dashboard is at admin.google.com. So that's good to remember. And yeah, let's see, sign in with an administrator account. I think this should be, so my free email should be the actual administ administrator for this. If it's not, let's try johnjones.site. Okay. John Jones that site is the admin email for this Google Workspace standard account. So here we are. We just started. So we're going to go through a few, a few steps first. And this is the interface. Yeah. If you were doing this for your business, upload your logo. You can add a bunch of different data. Over here on the sidebar is where you're usually, uh, or what is the most important in the billing. You can see your subscription is Google Workspace standard, and I am not even going to pay for it for 13 more days. Very nice. Just see, I get this without anything up front. Account settings. Here's domain. You can add domains here. You can change your account settings. And then if you put user in here, you could add users. So if you needed a second email, you could add one. And that would be another $12. But I don't need it. So that's just it. So for this preliminary portion of this process, that's it. So now I ha have actual business email for johnjones.site. So I can use that immediately and instantly for cold outreach, or at least I can start warming up the email account for cold outreach. And then I have two terabytes of cloud storage. So I'm going to start transferring my the valuable and important stuff in my Dropbox account over to this. And then I'll discontinue my Dropbox account. And basically I will have gained an email for cold outreach and plus two bytes of two terabytes of cloud storage. And I would have lost or canceled a nearly equal subscription for just two terabytes of cloud storage. And in Dropbox, which I'd like to say now here in 2025, it's, yeah, it's far less useful and compatible. Uh, it's almost, you know what, Dropbox at this point is almost, I want to say it's almost dead. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely like last, last week's news or last year's news. Yeah, I don't, I've never met anyone using it. So yeah, it's fun and I'm moving on, changing, evolving and getting better. And this is how, this is the first step. So I hope you guys appreciate that. I think it helps a lot. And I'm absolutely certain from firsthand experience, not everyone knows or realizes.